Hi friends, today we delve into everything about Conqueror's Hockey in the world of One Piece. Many characters utilize Conqueror's Hockey, yet how they unleash and harness their power varies significantly between individuals. For instance, Luffy can knock out a massive crowd in an instant. But how do other characters utilize Conqueror's Hockey in various scenes? Rest assured, we will uncover numerous characters that you are all keen to know about. If you enjoy, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Especially in the comments, let's exchange information about other characters' use of Conqueror's Hockey. Please note, this video includes spoilers up to the most recent episodes. Without further ado, let's dive in. Only one in several million is born with the royalty quality required to handle Conqueror's Hockey. It's different from armament and observation hockey, which can be learned through training. However, it's often said that many big shots who have left their names in history have the potential for Conqueror's Hockey. Now a major pirate holding one of the four Emperor spots, Monkey D. Luffy is also one of those who possesses Conqueror's Hockey. A memorable scene is where Luffy uses Conqueror's Hockey is during the battle at Fishman Island. He knocked out about 50,000 soldiers of the new Fishman Pirates in an instant. Wasn't it impactful? Moreover, Luffy, after fighting Kato, has acquired the technique of cloaking himself with Conqueror's Hockey. According to Kato, only a handful of strong individuals can cloak with Conqueror's Hockey. Now, Luffy, who has made this possible, can be described as an exceptional superior hockey user, even among those with royalty quality. In the Wano Country arc, Roro Noah Zoro, the reliable number two of the Straw Hat crew, also awakened his Conqueror's Hockey. Now, there are two members of the Straw Hat crew who possess the royalty quality. It is rare in the storyline to have multiple Conqueror's Hockey users in a pirate crew. Zoro, who used to use Conqueror's Hockey effectively during his battle with All-Star King, was asked by King, do you intend to become a king? Zoro responded, why not become a king of hell and defeated King. It is said that only a handful of strong individuals can cloak with Conqueror's Hockey. However, it is considered that Zoro, although unconsciously, has mastered the cloaked Conqueror's Hockey. In the fight with King, he cloaked his three swords with Conqueror's Hockey. Using this opportunity, he also successfully controlled the cursed sword Enma, which forcibly absorbs the user's hockey. Luffy's brother Portcus D. Ace, who was also the son of the pirate king Gaul D. Roger, had the potential for Conqueror's Hockey. Ace's awakening to hockey was remarkably early, and astonishingly, he was using Conqueror's Hockey at just 10 years old. There was a scene where young Luffy was nearly killed by the Blue Jam pirate crew. At that time, Ace, who was 10 years old, saved Luffy from a tight spot using Conqueror's Hockey. Everyone, except the Captain Blue Jam, passed out due to Ace's Conqueror's Hockey at the moment. Typically, only those with a power gap and are inferior can be knocked out by Conqueror's Hockey. Therefore, it can be said that Ace's power was above the average pirate in East Blue, even at a young age. It's said that many big names that make a mark worldwide possess Conqueror's Hockey. However, when it comes to the Four Emperors, using Conqueror's Hockey seems to be a given. Naturally, Luffy's benefactor and idol, Shanks, is also a holder of the Conqueror's Hockey. Shanks is known as one of the top hockey users in the world and masters armament hockey and observation hockey at a high level. His Conqueror's Hockey is of a level that even the Whitebeard Pirates crew could faint. Standing before Shanks when he's serious is nearly impossible. In the movie One Piece Film Red, even those at the Navy Headquarters Vice Admiral level couldn't withstand Shanks' pressure. Even Navy Headquarter Admirals Aokiji and Akenu decided to retreat after witnessing Shanks' hockey. This allows us to infer just how staggeringly powerful his hockey use is. Moreover, Shanks' conqueror's hockey has a trait that nullifies an opponent's observation hockey by controlling his presence. This trait is called observation killing, and it's revealed that Katakuri's future sight is ineffective against Shanks. After Roger's death, the one who was referred to as the world's strongest pirate for a long time was Edward Newgate, commonly known as Whitebeard. Known as a user of the devil fruit Tremor Tremor Fruit, boasting the strongest class of attack power, his hockey level was also world class. There was a scene where opinions clashed between him and Shanks over Blackbeard's treatment. At that time, a phenomenon occurred where the sky split due to the clash of Conqueror's hockey between the two. 
Whitebeard should have significantly weakened compared to when Roger was alive. Yet, even in his later years, he had enough hockey to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shanks. His prime was even more overwhelming. When he fought with Roger in the past, just the clash of their hockey caused natural disasters in the vicinity. Roger, who became the Pirate King without the power of a devil fruit, was undoubtedly the world's strongest hockey user. However, Whitebeard's Conqueror's hockey was also in a realm that matched him. Big Mom, also known as Charlotte Linlin, was also a person who possessed overwhelming Conqueror's hockey. Known as a born monster for things like killing the giant tribe hero at just five years old, Conqueror's hockey is considered the reason for her abnormal strength. Normally, Big Mom, who doesn't even get a scratch from cannonballs, weakens to the point of getting injured by just kneeling on the ground when her mental state is shaken. This can be said to be proof that her defensive power is supported by hockey. That much hockey was the secret to Big Mom's strength, who had it from birth. When her memories with Mother Carmel are hurt, she becomes mentally unstable and her defensive power significantly decreases. In return, she scatters Conqueror's hockey with a powerful scream. There probably aren't many who can approach Big Mom in this state, even after reducing her defensive power. In contrast to the Beast Pirates crew, who were enhanced by the artificial Devil Fruit smile, the boss of this organization, Kato, valued hockey more than Devil Fruit powers. Kato was a user of the Fish Fish Fruit, model Azure Dragon. He also had a unique value system, stating that ability does not conquer the world and only hockey surpasses everything. It is thought that this value system came from knowing Roger, who became the Pirate King with the power of hockey alone. In fact, Kato was one of the strongest hockey users in the world. Kato, who wraps his weapon, the Cannibal, with Conqueror's Hockey, also became the trigger for Luffy to learn clad in Conqueror's Hockey. Gal D. Roger, who left his name in the world as the Pirate King, was not a Devil Fruit user. He was a person who managed to contend with the strong ones of the Grand Line and achieved the world's first arrival at Raftal with the sheer strength of his hockey. In the past arc, centered on Kazuki Odin, battle scenes of Roger from the bygone days are depicted. Roger's sword technique, Kamusari, enveloped in hockey, is incredibly potent. Even Kazuki Odin, who boasted unparalleled strength in the Wano country, was blown away without resistance. Roger, who took down Kazuki Odin in a blink, then directly faced off in a duel with Whitebeard in his prime. The clash of Conqueror's hockey between Roger and Whitebeard generated a storm-like impact. It nearly capsized the Whitebeard pirate ship, Moby Dick. Silver's Rayleigh, the vice captain of the Roger Pirates, is also a user of Conqueror's hockey. If Roger was the Pirate King, Rayleigh was the Dark King, meaning there were two people with qualities of a king in the Roger Pirates. Rayleigh also provided Luffy with the hockey training in the two years when the Straw Hat crew was scattered around the world. An impressive scene where he used Conqueror's hockey was when he wiped out enemies at the human shop in the Sabati Archipelago. Incidentally, Luffy knocked out 50,000 soldiers of the new Fishman Pirates with Conqueror's hockey. But if Rayleigh used Conqueror's Hockey in the same situation, it was spoken in the SBS that he might have annihilated the 100,000 new Fishman Pirate crew. Kozuki Odin, a samurai from Wano Country with the unique career of being in both the Whitebeard Pirates and the Roger Pirates, it is known that he had also mastered Conqueror's Hockey. While Luffy knocked out the Beast Pirates crew with Conqueror's Hockey, Ashura Doji, who witnessed it, was surprised, exclaiming, that was Lord Odin's technique. The innate potential of Conqueror's hockey might have been the secret to Odin's abnormal strength. Even in the scene where Odin slashed Kato with Odin two-sword style, Togen Tatsuka, an effect which appears to be from Conqueror's hockey, with black lightning was applied. Kato, who experienced 40 executions without a single injury, bore the cross-shaped scar given by Odin for life. Sengoku, the Inspector General of Navy Headquarters, is also a veteran Marine who contended with Roger and Whitebeard in their prime. Given that he faced the Roger generation full of legendary great pirates, it seems that he also concealed the potential for Conqueror's Hockey. The fact that Sengoku possesses Conqueror's Hockey was revealed not in the original work, but in the Vivre card. However, being a person who stood at the pinnacle of an organization like the Navy, having the qualities of a king doesn't feel out of place. By the way, Roger during his lifetime stated, 
if you intend to defeat me, bring Garp or Sengoku. So Sengoku was a powerful acknowledged even by the Pirate King. Although there are still few battle scenes at the moment, Sengoku's prowess in Conqueror's Hockey might be depicted in the work eventually. Known as the foremost of the worst generation alongside Luffy and Law, and having made a name as a key player in defeating four emperors Big Mom in Wano, Eustace Kidd. He is also one of the possessing the potential for Conqueror's Hockey. The fact that Kidd is a holder of Conqueror's Hockey was revealed from Kato's mouth. In episode 924, Kato showed a glimpse of Conqueror's Hockey to Luffy. Kato exclaimed, you too? The Kid Brat also has Conqueror's? We don't need so many kings. However, so far there is no scene where Kid uses Conqueror's Hockey conspicuously. Even the big move, Punk Rotten, that dealt the finishing blow to Big Mom, didn't appear to be clad in Conqueror's Hockey. Therefore, there's a possibility that Kid still can't consciously utilize Conqueror's Hockey. Yamato, the child of Kato, awoke to Conqueror's Hockey at a merely eight years old. When she, claiming the name Kazuki Odin, was imprisoned on Onigashima, she unconsciously knocked out several members of the Beast Pirates. However, Yamato described those who fainted, saying they just fell over. She had not yet become aware of using Conqueror's Hockey. Nevertheless, Kato, witnessing the spectacle, commented, Conquerors? Huh? Promising. From this, it seems Kato immediately recognized Yamato's potential. Now, when Yamato performs Narikabura, the Kanabo is imbued with the black lightning effect characteristic of Conqueror's Hockey. Although not explicitly stated in the work, it can be said that Yamato likely has mastered armament of Conqueror's Hockey, which is permitted to only a handful of powerful individuals. Former Seven Warlords of the Sea, Don Quixote do Flamingo, also became able to use Conqueror's Hockey when he was quite young. It has been revealed that he awakened to Conqueror's Hockey at around the age of 10. In his childhood, do Flamingo unconsciously caused people around him to faint. At that point, his close associate, Tribol, conveyed to do Flamingo about the existence of Conqueror's Hockey as follows. That is the proof of possessing the qualities of a king. Do Flamingo, you are a man chosen by the heavens. Of course, as an adult, he became able to control Conqueror's Hockey freely. And in his battle with Luffy, the clashing of both their Conqueror's Hockey is depicted. However, it is unclear whether Doflamingo reached the realm of cladding with Conqueror's Hockey. Charlotte Katakurai, the second son of the Charlotte family and the number two of four Emperor's Big Mom Pirates, he is known in the work as one of the premier hockey users. Particularly noteworthy is his observation hockey, which has reached the level where he trained too much and can see a few seconds into the future. But of course, he also possesses the potential for Conqueror's Hockey. Like Ace and Yamato, it might be a tendency that if the parent is a holder of Conqueror's Hockey, it is easily inherited by the child. By the way, while fighting Luffy, Katakurai stated, the peanut gallery sure is noisy. He knocked out the nuisances with Conqueror's Hockey. Focusing on eliminating the noisy onlookers rather than defeating the enemy in front of him by using Conqueror's Hockey was a stylish depiction, wasn't it? Boa Hancock, former Seven Warlords of the Sea and captain of the Kuja Pirates, is also the Empress ruling over Amazon Lily. Like Big Mom and Doflamingo, she is literally a person reigning in the seat of a country's king. Conqueror's Hockey, also referred to as the qualities of a king, indeed those born with this talent seem to be suited to be rulers. When Luffy used Conqueror's Hockey on Amazon Lily, Hancock was surprised, exclaiming, the same as me, Conqueror's? Also, at this time, her sister, Boa Sandersonia, reacted by saying, I have never seen anyone other than sister use this. Even among the executives of the Seven Warlords of the Sea, the rarity of Conqueror's Hockey is reaffirmed by the scarce opportunities to witness it. Shin Zhao, the 12th leader of the Hapo Navy, and now also a member of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, was a great pirate active around the time of Rogers Prime. Back then, the bounty on Xin Zhao was a whopping 542 million berries. Xin Zhao, who retired from the front lines after being defeated by a young Garp, still possesses the power of Conqueror's Hockey, even in his old age. In Dressrosa, he scolded countless gladiators trying to make a name by defeating him, shouting, Come back when you're ready, you greenhorns! And he made them all faint at once. Being a seasoned great pirate, he was not at all intimidated, even when Luffy is Conqueror's Hockey. He stated, consider that those possessing the qualities of a king are abundant in the seas ahead. 
decide among them, reach further atop among the clashing conquerors. Douglas Bullitt, a former member of the Roger Pirates who appeared in the movie One Piece Stampede, he controlled all three types of hockey, including Conqueror's hockey, at a high level. Although Bullet was a user of the awakened Clank Clank fruit, his level of hockey was so high that it overshadowed the impression of his ability. Bullet took on 11 of the worst generation, excluding Blackbeard, all at once, and he scattered them all using just the power of hockey without using his ability. According to Buggy, who knows of that time, Bullet's power is a monster on par with Rayleigh-san back then. He is a character who has only appeared in a movie so far. However, it is undoubtedly accurate to consider him one of the strongest hockey users in the work. So far, a confirmed total of 18 individuals possess the potential for Conqueror's hockey. However, aside from those introduced this time, there are people who are quite likely to possess Conqueror's hockey. Speaking of recent events in episode 1080, Garp's possession of Conqueror's hockey has been almost confirmed, hasn't it? When Garp attacked pirate island Hachinosu, the black lightning effect characteristic of Conqueror's hockey was present. Considering the destructive power to blow away an entire town, it should be considered a strike cloaked in Conqueror's hockey. Judging from the other capabilities, it is reasonable to think that the admirals of the Navy, hailed as the Navy's greatest military power, all possess Conqueror's hockey. The admirals in the history of the Navy headquarters, Akenu, Okoji, Kizaru, Fujitora, and Ryogoku, while unconfirmed, they are thought to likely be able to use Conqueror's hockey. Other powerful individuals comparable to them, such as Blackbeard from the Four Emperors and Dragon, the Commander-in-Chief of the Revolutionary Army, as well as the great pirate Golden Lion Cheeky, who was competed with Roger, also have a high possibility of being holders of Conqueror's hockey. It is said that those who possess Conqueror's hockey are one in several million. However, looking at it this way, even just those confirmed are quite a number, aren't they? The story has entered its final chapter in One Piece, where more powerful individuals than ever are crowding together. It seems likely to confirm even more holders of Conqueror's hockey in the future. That's all for today. This channel posts summaries, explanations, and ranking videos related to One Piece. If you like One Piece, we would be happy if you could support us by subscribing to our channel and commenting. Thank you for watching till the end. We'll see you in the next video.